Welcome back to the full view. Now, South Africa will still be dealing with electricity supply problems by the year 2030. And that's according to the long-awaited Draft Integrated Resources Plan of 2023, gazetted by Mineral Resources and Energy Minister Gwede Mandashi this week. The RP maps out the expansion of generation capacity over two time horizons, one from 2023 and the other from 2031 to 2050. Well, for a better understanding on this, we're very pleased to be joined by Science and Innovations Energy Secretariat Head of Department at the South African National Energy Development Institute, Professor Samson uh, Mampueli. Prof, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Look, quite alarming news from this report, basically saying that South Africans should brace themselves as load shedding and power supply issues are going to be with us for a very long time. Good evening to you and the viewers. Um, so the finally the draft integrated resource plan has been um, uh, published for public comments and as you rightly indicated uh, it's got two it's got two time horizons the first time horizon is between now and 2030 where it's basically looking at the current initiatives and the current projects uh, that are in the pipeline and then they model various scenarios to say uh, if um, we go through some of those scenarios, what will be the security of energy supply? You will recall that the, the IRP is the country's energy plan, mm -hmm. which looks at the security of supply in the main. So, so going through the IRP, uh, it does say uh, in various scenarios that uh, we may have uh, scenarios where we, we, we may still have to, to deal with load shedding for quite a long time. But there are other scenarios where it's talking about uh, the fact that uh, we may be able to to deal with load shedding quite uh, much urgent uh, or quite soon uh, mm. as opposed to the, the second uh, time horizon as well mm. so for me it, it's, it's a great plan because it basically talks about uh, the current scenario and then it looks at the various uh, scenarios uh, to say what is it that we need to do as South Africa to deal with load sharing. Mm. And Professor, look, there's been uh, talks of introducing IPPs, car power ships, and even nuclear. And this was said would drastically, if not totally, eradicate issues uh, of our current uh, energy crisis. What does this mean then? That none of those planned projects will actually bear, uh, bear for them? Uh, then what is the point? So, so when we talk about long-term power planning, we plan for the future. Mm -hmm. um, if, we had, if we had planned in 2008 or 2007, uh, even way uh, back in 2003, if we had planned properly, we wouldn't find ourselves in the current situation. Yeah. So the current I IRP is also flagging, uh, you know, uh, that the fact that if we are to embark on a on a on a decarbonization agenda and shutting down of some of the coal fleet uh, by by 2050 or so, uh, we need to bring in new generation capacity quite urgently. Uh, we need to to embark embark on various scenarios that that have been painted uh, throughout the the integrated resource plan. Mm -hmm. So the, the 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 main thing for me is. Um, the, the first time horizon where it's indicating uh, the what new generation capacity we need um the the the, the, the share of um, of coal versus uh, renewables and the gas and all that there's a revision downwards uh, of some of the technologies and the revision upwards of uh, some of the technologies for instance the the coal side of things has been revised up from IRP 2019 by, by about 2% from 43% to 45%, taking into consideration the main thing, which is basically the security of energy supply, mm -hmm. uh, and followed by the decarbonization of the electricity sector. But we have now the new thing, which is the just energy transition, which the IRP also touches on to say, why we do the, why we embark on the, on the DJ, on the, on the decarbonization of the electricity sector? We need to ensure that we don't leave behind those people who are working in the power stations and those communities that are living in those mining uh, uh, communities where the, the power stations are located. However, um, having said all this, 
the IRP is basically the country's energy plan that is giving direction, mm -hmm. which also has the, 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 the president's energy action plan. And part of the president's energy action plan was basically to revise the IRP, taking into the consideration the existing uh, kind of a situation, which is one of which is, the, is that the fact that we have the, the performance, the, the underperformance of the ESCOM coal fleet that has given rise to the challenges that we have. Mm -hmm. And and that you can see uh, quite is coming out quite strongly in the in the revised IRP because it's touching on that to say the, the current coal fleet was supposed to be operating at 75% and above energy availability factor, but that's not the, the case. And they go down to the numbers to say we're now sitting at about 50, 54, 56 percent energy availability factor, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest problems that we have in the in, in the main. However, if we are able to deal with that energy availability factor and go with um, uh, some of the scenarios that are presented in the integrated resource plan, mm -hmm. we should be able to deal with load shedding. And I must indicate uh, that this document is, is is basically out for for public comment. Okay. Um, myself and and the entity that I work for, we are still also studying it for for so that we can we can come up with evidence kind of based uh, comments. But in the main, when you look at it, uh, there are various scenarios, and I must emphasize there are scenarios where we can deal with load shedding immediately, and mm -hmm. there are scenarios. That where we can we, we, we can uh, prolong uh, load shedding, but all that uh, boils down to long-term power uh, uh, system planning, which is basically all right. done throughout. All right, Prof. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. I mean, there's so many points to go over uh, from uh, this RIP, but of course, as the professor has pointed out there, it is available for public comment. That was, of course, uh, uh, Science and Innovations Energy Secretariat Head of Department at the South African National Energy uh, Development Institute, uh, Professor Samson Mampweli.